Hello friend, this is Abhishek. This is the tutorial number 10. Today we are going to see how we can manage the delete operations on our database. I hope you have seen my earlier videos. If you don't, then you have to cease because this video is related with the older versions of videos. So, this is my project. in which I have done an insert update on a student database just I am giving an overview so please this is my on device ready event here I have created a data uh, here I have created a new database created and the, then after created a new table called students we have a roll number la first name last name and mobile number these four fields after that I have done the insert operation on a button click event and uh, an update operations on another button events today in this tutorials we are, we're gonna see how we can manage the delete operations on the other buttons so please we have let me add a new button just beside id btn delete value equals delete student on click delete student okay now create this function here i'm creating function delete now just open your database on which you have to do the operations and I'm changing the callback function giving it the name delete DB function one parameter after that uh, TX dot execute SQL delete from student where ID equals we have to find out the IDs not IDs just ID here is our ID and uh, give it to our query that's done now uh, delete success create a callback function for this now provide an alert that a student is deleted successfully now run this application in emulator from here android application let's check the application is installed or not i think it's not started yet See, it started now. Just wait a minute. Yeah, it's loaded. Now run our application.
now we will delete roll number two object SQL error okay that means uh, our function error DB is called so let me check what is the error error DB delete success okay after that roll number document dot get element by it extra number values oops it's not ID it's roll number now again run this application Roll number two. And delete student. The student is successfully deleted. Now just check our database. Go to file explorer data and data or package com dot web connect app database file and our database export to desktop after that open that file into SQL browser just student table and student query data roll number first name last name no data to display right now there is not any record to display okay now we will insert a new record one B shake one two three four five six seven eight. yeah register student is registered successfully now again export this database to check one record is inserted now we will update this record we will change the name new name and uh, last name and uh, mobile number is also changed successfully updated now again export this database okay open a slide browser query data okay the record is updated now we're gonna delete this record okay so roll number one and delete student is deleted successfully okay now again we export the database just refresh the folder and export this database now let's check table and student and student see there is no record that means uh, our first roll number is deleted okay I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, understood everything whatever I explain over here <coughs> now thank you for watching this videos and uh, please subscribe this our channel
for the next videos we're gonna see the special SQL statement select query how we can fetch records from the database and display on an HTML page by using a phone gap 3 please wait for my next videos till then Abhishek Bendre signing out thank you bye